All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is pretty exciting, man. I don't know what the title is going to be, but I have just received the first lot of actual samples from my clothing manufacturer. Now, some of you guys may remember, I went down to Melbourne probably about three weeks ago. It was for football, but it was also to meet the manufacturer of my clothing. Now, I'd been in talks with them. Um, I paid my deposit. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd the relationship between me and them have, has been going since April, and we're in September. And so that's, uh, what's that, five, five months by my calculation, and it's taken five months going back and forth for me to receive, finally, some samples from the actual Chinese manufacturer to Australia through this company that I'm going to, up to me in Alice Springs. I've got them. Sweet! Now, I have to see those and do a bit of quality control against the original measurements that I sent um, just to see how they fit. And to be honest guys, they're fucking huge. Okay, I wanted an oversized fit. I wanted things to be, you know, I want, to, I want there to be a triple XL basically to accommodate my, my people who are 300 pounds or more. I'm not gonna lie. I want someone who's 100 pounds to be able to wear it, 150, 200, 250, even 300. Probably not much more than that. But we're going to go 3XL, so it's going to be X, extra small up to 3XL. Based around a menswear range, although I do have one garment that's for women, and I will show you that. So before, without further ado guys, I'm going to just run through the six garments that we're going to have for this first product run. And these are the samples, I've just received them. I've worn the t-shirt for a couple of days, I've washed it just to see what the fabric does, because that was one crucial factor, was what the fabric does after it's washed multiple times. I need it to stay soft. I need it to keep its shape. And that's pretty much it. There's a lot of fucking shitty fabrics out there that once they have a couple of washes, they go really like hard and, um, and the, the sleeves will stretch. Uh, and that's not what I want. So let's have a look. The first garment is a t-shirt. Okay. Here it is. This is what it looks like in black, black on black, which is not one of my first choices, but they actually just sent it to me by accident. And funnily enough, I actually quite like it. I do. So I'll put it on, show you guys what the fit is like. It's a fit that I've always wanted in my t-shirts. Um, and it's not a fit that I can, I can find very easily. It's an oversized fit. And what I've done, is um, I've actually taken the seam down the shoulder. Okay, usually a t-shirt seam would, would start and finish about here, and then the sleeves would start coming down. This one goes all the way down past the shoulder. It's actually got a bit of a curve, and it starts here. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna give a bit of a, an oversized sort of relaxed feel, a fit as well. So it's, it's sort of gonna, it's gonna, you know, hang a little bit more. The last thing I wanted was these t-shirts to fucking be right up here, like fucking tight as, that's not the look I'm going for. I'm going for relaxed, I'm going for something you can wear in the gym, on the sports field, on the couch, you know, everyday wear. Okay? Major key physiques. Made for anywhere. Seriously. So, the one change that I'm going to do with this, I love this t-shirt, but I do want the sleeves to be slightly longer. The length is fine. We've got a little tag here. MKP, which goes underneath, it's sewn in. Um, the labels will be on. I will show you them when we do get them, although I don't have them yet. So yeah, this t-shirt is great. It's an XL, but I'm going to extend the sleeve probably about two, two inches. All in good time. So the t-shirt, this is the t-shirt, right? This is, this is the design. You guys know what it's going to be like. Girls can wear it, guys can wear it. We're going to have black on black. We're going to have white on black. We're going to have black on white, we're going to have white on red, and we're going to have white on pink. So, I'm really excited about that. Next one, we've got the singlet, tank top, tank top, same fabric, same fabric type, exactly, exactly the same labelling, it's just a singlet. So, this is what it looks like. I didn't want the armholes to be too far down. I don't want it to expose too much because it's not, it's not going to be a stringer. I mean, this is like, this is a casual top. This is a casual singlet, a tank top. You know, you'd wear it to the beach, you'd wear it on the couch, you'd wear it at the gym, you'd wear it to the sports field, anywhere, man. 
But there is one thing that I wanted to change. When I first designed this one, I wanted it to be fully for casual. I didn't want, you know, I didn't want, uh, well, I wanted to get away from like having a real thin strap over your shoulder. So basically the design that I sent through, I actually wanted this to be over the cap of the delt, like a cut off tee. I wanted this to be like here and sort of like a half between a singlet and a, and a, and a t-shirt, I suppose. But the one thing I didn't want, I needed this to be tight enough down here so that it didn't start fraying and going out like a dress like this. I needed it to stay tight on the delt and not stretch. Anyways guys, what they've given me is something in between. So I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do really. I'm going to have a look at the design that I sent through, the measurements. I'm going to measure this up and make a couple of changes. I honestly think I'm going to go thinner. So we're going to make it about something like that. But then that means this, this armhole is going to have to come down a little bit more. This is going to have to come, you know, out the front a little bit more. You want to see a little bit of the chest, but not much. So yeah, this is the singlet. Once again, we don't have, we don't have the little label here, but it will have it. We're going to have black labels on black clothing, white labels on white clothing, red labels on red clothing and it's going to be sick. So that's the singlet. Same colour scheme, same five colours. I'm getting real sick of putting this hat on. I'll just keep this on I think. Okay, next thing. We've got the hoodie. So, basically this is the white on black version. There will be a black on white, no no not black on white. There will be a, a grey on grey and a white on red. So there'll only be three three colours for this one. But basically it's just a, it's, a, it's a normal hoodie. There's nothing really too different about it. It's just a normal fit, casual fit. But we've got obviously major key physiques down each arm. You can't see it here but what we will have is see that little ribbon going along there. That's going to be branded. So it's going to have major key physiques exactly like it looks here all the way along the inside of the hoodie. So that will be completely invisible if you've got it on. The only time you'll see it is basically when you're pulling it off your rack and putting it on. Uh, it's just a little bit of added detail that I really wanted to include. Now as well as that, down the side, so we've got these, we've got the little labels underneath for the t-shirt and the singlet. On the hoodie and the jumper, we've got one sewn into the side here. Basically it's just down the side, it's a little little label sewn in. Now personally, that is actually not the right writing. You see it's a little bit thin, it's a little bit thin, it's not the exact font. So I'm not happy with it, so I'm going to change that. But I am happy with the placement and the sort of, you know, how it looks. The actual function of it I really like. So, let me put this on. <laughs> the thing is man, I sent the, like the, the actual samples that I sent away to get these sized off of, they were huge. They were like double XL. So the thing is, they've sent me back these things, but they're all massive, like... I haven't actually put this on yet. <laughs> How big is it? <laughs> oh fuck! Well I'm six foot one, put it that way. But it does feel nice. So, you know, if anything, if anything, I'd probably want to bring in the side just a little bit to make it a little bit more tapered. But if this is a double XL, which it will be, this is going to be a double XL, so it's only going to be sized, you know, less from here. And just think a triple XL, you're going to have a lot of room. So, yeah, I really like this. I do. And I'm quite happy because the, the, the size of the lettering down, the, down the, um, the arm is bigger than the ones that I've made previously, So, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to be quite bold. You know, it's a nice screen print. It's a double, double thickness screen print, which is, you know, w good quality. It's not going to fade and um, I'm happy. So that's three. Fourth garment. And this is pretty, this is where it all started, man. This is the garment that I imagined, I imagined, you know, people rocking. And honestly, I, I, I want it to be the garment that, that the brand is known for. You know, I want to be sending these, when I get the proper thing made, this is a jumper by the way, look, white on black jumper, 
it's going to have the exact same details as the hoodie. In the next lot of samples, they're going to have actual proper tags, so I'll be able to show you those. But for now, all it is is basically, you're basically signing off on the colours, uh, the fabric type, and the shape. So I, I send back any changes that I want to make, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing after this video. So this is apparently, once again, an XL, although I do believe I'm going to size this one as a 2X. So let's see. Okay. Wow, look at my shoulders. <laughs> well, it's probably because it's brand new. I haven't even worn it yet, but I reckon, yeah, a size less, one size less, and I'd be happy. I mean, the sleeves, like, look how long they are. So this is a, this is a 2XL. White on black. We're also going to have grey on grey, which looks like one of these that I prepared earlier. Right, grey on grey, although this is not from the actual manufacturer, this is just Kmart stuff that I've gone and put a logo on just to see, take some photos and start getting it out there to the public. So, sweet. I've still got the same label down the side here, so I'm going to definitely do something about that. Although, you know, the more I look at it, the more it looks alright, but no, I definitely want it to be as thick lettering is this. You know, I need some I need some oomph to it. This is too thin. This is like a pencil. So we can't have that. Okay. So that's four. We've got the singlet, we've got the t-shirt, we've got the jersey and the hoodie. And last but not least, we have two pairs of leggings. So, this one. Have a look at these. This is the ladies' leggings. We have a screen print along the top, okay, we've got a zip along the back to put your phone in. Now I don't know how many of you guys have just worn leggings in the gym with no pockets and tried to use your phone, it's fucked. Also, down at the field when you're running around and you want music in, like there's nothing better than being down at the field in the sun with your headphones on, running around with the ball, training, it's fucking sick. And the only way to do that is to hold your phone on you because you're going to run away like 50 meters and it's going to cut out. Well, that's what happens to me. So, so definitely the inspiration behind the, the pocket is to hold your phone for some wireless headphones so you can run around. Ladies leggings. We have MKP down the leg. And um, I've got to say, man, they're thick, they're squat proof. Absolutely 100% squat proof, which is something that all girls are after. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. This is a medium. I'm not going to try them on. But what I will try on is the men's leggings. Now, ladies' leggings are going to come in black and white, like you just saw, and grey on grey. And this is the grey on grey. So it's a lighter grey on a darker grey. This is the men's leggings. Once again, we have a zip at the back but the crotch is different and that's pretty much the only difference we've still got still got MKP down the side and before I do go I will show you guys what they look like now whether you wear um, underwear or not is going to be up to you but uh, I did try these on last night I went to the gym I trained and there's one thing I didn't have any shorts on and there's one fucking thing that stood out to me, that was extremely embarrassing, and I'm going to have to fix. Which was this fucking crotch. Have a look at this shit. I don't think I've ever seen leggings like this before, with a crotch so obvious. I don't know if that, this company's like based on, on lady, well this, this design is based on ladies leggings and they've just put this here, or what? But we're definitely going to have to get it sorted out. <laughs> um, but I will say, man, they do feel fucking good. They're nice and thick. Thicker than, than your shitty, you know, Kmart sort of tights. Um, the only <laughs> okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is the first lot of samples I've got, right? So I'm definitely making changes. The changes. Have a look at this, man. What do you think? I mean, I don't want you, to, you guys to look, but literally, like, I mean, fuck it. I'll be honest with you. They've literally, they've sewn it in. It's too big. 
It's too pointy. You know, it would point out even if you didn't have anything to fill it. So, what we're going to change, we're going to bring, we're going to cut that out. Okay? So if we look at the ladies' ones, the ladies' ones have the exact same length from the crotch to the top. And that's because you want these to be high-waisted. We don't want that for the guys' leggings. So we're basically just going to cut that out, bring it down to like here, take that in a little bit, this part, and it'll be, you know, somewhat like that. So, that's it. That's it. I have been, I have been experimenting with a couple of other designs. Um, socks, as you guys know, that's from a completely different manufacturer. Uh, shorts, uh, different colours of t-shirts. We've got track pants. And uh, last but not least, we have... What do we have? Oh, we've got some sporting, some like sportswear stuff as well. So these six garments that you've just seen are legit. They're happening. They're being made, and they are the six garments that are going to be stocked up on the website www.majorkeyphysiques first. From there, we're definitely going to branch out into some other things. Although you know that's definitely not a bright idea until I can gauge the response that we're going to get. I need things to be quality. Businesses are made. You know, business, successful businesses are made on return customers. That's it. You're not going to be able to have a successful business, especially not in the clothing industry, uh, without having return customers. Customers that support the brand, they know it's quality, and they keep coming back. They tell their friends, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you can either have a customer come to your, your site for the first time, buy some stuff. Yeah, okay, they're kind of, you know, like, oh, it might be a bit expensive, whatever. They might save some money on shipping. Anyway, they're happy. The product gets to them. It's got to get to there on time, for a start. I don't want someone fucking ordering something and waiting two or three weeks. Uh, you know, the, the joy is gone, they've pretty much forgotten about it, and they're thinking, oh, fuck these guys, you know. So, shipping is huge. Quality is huge, you know. I'm all about the customer, I'm going to be all about customer service, and um, I want you guys to have a great experience. Not only shopping, not only receiving it on time, but um, the quality as well. So, with that, if all those things happen, there's no reason why you couldn't be a return customer. You know what I mean? So yeah. I mean, obviously my main customer base is going to be you guys who support me through this YouTube channel, first of all. But can you imagine if I got one of these on my man Leonard Fournette? Can you imagine if I had... Can you imagine if I was able to get Julian Edelman to rock one of these? One picture, one photo and it can all change. I just got to have the product. So, that is it. I'm feeling good. I've shown you guys everything that's happening. I could have kept it under wraps, but really, I want to include my channel. I want to include all you guys in this journey so that, you know, maybe it can inspire you guys to do the same thing one day. I have, you know, I've gained so much inspiration from, from other YouTubers. Without YouTube, I wouldn't be doing this. And so, yeah, it's definitely a journey. It's a journey I'm excited about. It's a journey I want you guys to come with. And we'll be getting into some reactions soon. Although I am going to Melbourne tomorrow, believe it or not. So my next vlogs, my next few vlogs, uh, my next few videos will be travel videos down to Melbourne. Talking about football, talking about what I'm doing down there. If you've made it to the end of this video, if you're that interested in what I'm doing with Major Key Physiques, I fucking thank you, man. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, as I always say, because... It's amazing. This is not about just me. This is about building a brand that, that stands for something. Um, I think it stands for honesty and integrity at the moment. Uh, I don't know if it stands, you know, if it's, it's targeting any one sport in particular. Uh, obviously rugby was my first choice. Football would have to be my second choice. Basketball, soccer, tennis, touch, volleyball, golf. You know, I love all sports. So I'm hoping that we can sort of eventually somehow just get that tiny little opening into the world of professional sports and apparel and sponsorships. But that's all in the future. So if you have liked this video, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I will see you guys down in Melbourne. Have a great one, guys. Peace out.